Welcome to our lecture online. In our second example, we don't quite have the advantage we had like we had in the previous video because it tells us look for. Ooh, that's not spelled correctly, is it? I forgot the A. Variable. I always forget letters. There we go. Look for a variable with the same numerical coefficient, and you can see neither the x nor the y variable has the same numerical coefficient. So then we come to this step and say, if needed, make them have the same numerical coefficient, and we do that by multiplying one or both of the equations with a constant. Now notice, this one says 2x, and this one says 4x. So if I multiply the bottom equation by 2, I get this to be 4x, and now they have the same numerical coefficient. And step number 2, they have opposite signs. So in a way, I'm getting two flies with one swat, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So notice I do it to the left side and the right side, so that way it is still the same equation. So I'm first going to copy the first equation, 4x plus 6y equals 2. So notice why I do that. I always want to rewrite both of the equations together in a group, otherwise things get a little bit confusing. So sometimes we get lazy and we do that and then things are not matched up. So I rewrite the first equation, now I write the second equation when I multiply everything by 2. So we get minus 4x minus 10y equals minus 22. Now I can go ahead and add those two equations together because that will eliminate the x's. So I'm going to add the two equations together. So 4x plus the negative 4x, that's 0. Plus 6 minus 10 is the minus 4y equals minus 22 plus 2, that's minus 20. And so I essentially end up with minus 4y equals minus 20. Notice I always like things to look cleaner and neater, get rid of the zero, gets confusing. Now I can see if I divide both sides by negative 4, then this gives me y equals negative 20 divided by negative 4 is a positive 5. So y equals positive 5. Now I have to find x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into one of my two equations, maybe this one right here, like that. And now I can solve for the second variable. So I end up with 4x plus 6 times y, which is 5, is equal to 2. That gives me 4x plus 30 is equal to 2. Bring the 30 over to this side, I get 4x is equal to 2 minus 30, or 4x is equal to minus 28. Now I can divide both sides by 4, and I get x is equal to minus 7. So y equals 5, x equals negative 7 appears to be the solution. But just to make sure, I'm going to do a check. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in x equals negative 7 and y equals 5 into the other equation. Why the other equation? Because if I made a mistake and I plug these back into the original equation that I used to find the value of the second variable, then I'm not going to find my mistake. It'll look like it's right, even though I made a mistake. So you have to plug it into the other equation. So we'll grab the other equation. Minus 2x minus 5y is equal to minus 11. Now we're going to plug in x equals negative 7 and y equals 5. So negative 2 times negative 7 minus 5 times positive 5 equals negative 11. And of course, we want to see if that's indeed correct. This gives me a positive 14 and negative 25 equals negative 11, question mark. So 14 minus 25, that's a minus 11 equals minus 11, correct? So that is correct, therefore these are correct values. And I found the solution. The solution is x equals negative 7, y equals 5. And that is how it's done. Okay, I'll do some examples like that. That just gives it away. Yes, yes. This guides you into which method to use and why. Oh, they have to learn to use which method. Okay, I'll take it off next time. 